I can throw her. <laughs> I, can I can swing her like a stick at some Yes. Point. I can use her as leverage to hit this other guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's whole, his problem? That whole rack of bread could easily be wheeled over into somebody. Mm, I am chucking all the stationery at this guy. <laughs> oh, man. Golf balls? I've, I've thought about, like, <laughs> if you get in trouble, throw golf balls. That stuff goes hard. And, and so they hurt. Do, and it hurts. Hurt. Like, yeah. There was a time when... Wait, here we go. Oh, there you go. Better. Your mic's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you discovered uh, what a mic was. Like, oh, I know. Oh, oh. Have you this seen is the what GIF I sound of like. Tim Duncan discovering his arms? Yeah, it's like, oh. oh. It's like, what is this? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> what? No, uh, Dude, you got to get up on sports. I got to get up on sports? Yeah. Dude, I only have so much bandwidth <laughs> No, no, this is. What, I'm not telling you to watch the sports. <laughs> uh-huh. Listen to a podcast. Just one podcast a week. Uh-huh. Catch up on it. And then you'll just be up to date. Uh-huh. Or just ask me. And then you, I can then ramble you can, for hours. You can, you'll pop in and watch things in and out, and you'll be in the culture. I start listening to, um, what's his name? Bill Burr. Oh, okay. yes. Just because he he always talks about sports. Yeah. And now, Kinda. I'm, just, now I'm just, yeah, apart from like his general <laughs> hate of everything. Um, so he was talking about the Colin Kaepernick thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which what is, did he think about that? Uh, he thought that, you know, his inten- Colin's intention is is good. His heart is in the right place, and he's okay. trying to do something. Right. And uh, just because someone doesn't stand for the national anthem doesn't mean that the world's going to end. Yeah. yeah. So definitely relax yourself. Yeah, just chill out, people. Yeah. Eric, what do you think? I agree with that. I mean, it's like Eric's white, everybody. Yeah, just so I'm, you know, I'm white. No, it's just uh, yeah. I mean, you you have the right. It's it's in it's in the bible yeah it's in the bible <laughs> it's it's in it's in pre, in the constitution it's pretty much yeah it is in bible that you have a uh, free speech so it's like why not yeah. practice it right it the, doesn't yeah and you have your right to 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 protest yeah and then the thing is if he chooses say i'm gonna sit down and lose my money that's his money to lose it, it doesn't you know what i mean and like i understand the other side where people are like oh we have to understand it's not about what's happening now it's the history of what the flag and the anthem stands for but at the end of the day the flag and everything was built on this idea of freedom and freedom yeah. of speech yeah. so yeah I, I agree with that. I thought what was interesting is that after he's been getting some flack in the media, yeah. uh, veterans stepped up and they were... Some tw- of them did. Yeah. Well, yeah. some of them, of yeah. course, yeah, uh, in support of Colin Kaepernick. They were yeah. saying that they went... This, that was the specific reason why they went to war in the first place for is the freedom for of speech, our yeah. people to be able yeah, to yeah. do what he's doing. It's one of those things where, in my opinion, if you're going to get outraged that this dude didn't stand up for the national anthem, and, and that's a choice, which I feel like... The NFL is actually one of the few leagues that makes it a choice. In the NBA, guaranteed game suspension. Oh, 100%. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. It's, really? Ho- hockey it's too, in your claws. Hockey too, I think. You have to actually... Sharif Abdul Rahim, who was a player in the 90s who sat yeah. down and protest got suspended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the first black Muslim players that I was aware of. I'm like, oh. Yeah. But did, did he play for the Grizzlies, Vancouver Grizzlies? One yes, he yep, did. I, or the Nuggets. With Big well. Country. We're yeah. in Big Country. But, Brian Grizzly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so he's like, leave that. me out of this one. I'm, I'm good. Yes, he doesn't know any of that. But <laughs> like, honestly. Big Country UFC fighter? <laughs> no, no, no. Different Big no, Country. It was uh, Bryant Reeves, I think was his name. <laughs> yes, Bryant Country Reeves. He was a big boy. But if you're if you're somebody who's who's more upset about him not standing for something that is voluntary and less upset about, you know, everything when it comes to race relations issues, especially how it's handled by the police, right. like video after video, then you might have to like check yourself. Yeah. He's, like, a num- he's a number one selling Jersey, by the way, in yeah. uh, the NFL shop right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He got a ton of flack at, at, up front. And yeah. then, you know, celebrities and, are back in now too, wearing yeah. his Jersey out like J Cole, Trey songs. Mm, yeah. They're all true. basically repping him right now. Curry. So that, Curry yeah. came out yesterday. Steph Obama. Curry, yeah. Obama. Yeah. When, when you see him in interviews, I like the fact that he's just, he seems really calm. Oh yeah, he seems smart. Right, he's just, it's smart. I, yeah, I've heard absolutely. him speak a few times, yeah. and he's intelligent. And he's just like laid back, and he's answering the questions really yeah. calmly and stuff. That's yeah. interesting. Something else that's awesome is uh, the entire Seahawks team is yeah. going to be sitting. No, Pretty, yeah. Yep. When's that happening? Is that uh, tonight? I'm not uh, sure what uh, day it was. I heard about that. Know. Wow, they're yeah. going to be kneeling. The sitting thing is is apparently disrespectful. Kneeling is all right. Right, so they're going to be kneeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the whole, the whole team. There's also a, a a soccer star for the female the U.S. National uh, National League. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's also she's been kneeling for the last two games. Yeah. Yep. They, so I don't know if it was her or someone else, but they recently just put out that they uh, it was probably her. They tricked her by playing the anthem early. <laughs> <laughs> it, look it up yeah, look it up it yeah. just happens he's right they they played the anthem early so she was like oh caught off guard and she's like do i kneel now do i get away like uh-huh. they're just trying to do whatever they can to to kind of stop this Which but the thing i is thought like, was uh yeah it's the silliest 
What are you, like, in high school? Yeah, we played early, so she didn't get a chance to kneel. <laughs> it's like, take that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird focus, like you were saying. Yeah. It's a weird focus. And then people then, sitting. Uh, there was a meme that I saw online. Was uh, It was a picture of two dudes sitting on a couch, just mm-hmm. slouching. Right. And it said something along the lines of, this is what Americans do 99.9% of the time the yeah. during, the, the, yep. during the anthem. That's like, true, no one, man. no one stands at mm-hmm. home. No. Right? Hell no. People freaking out. No. Even even like third world countries that are really patriotic, they don't stand up. Yeah. Because if you've been to a third, for whatever reason, people are really patriotic. Really? If you meet an Iraqi, if you meet a, a Pakistani person that uh-huh. like was grew up there. Yeah. It's insane. Seriously. The patriotism. Yeah, it's much different. Okay, I wouldn't different. know. Mauritians are, I don't feel like Mauritians are, are very patriotic. Ah, uh, yeah. That's because you guys didn't have any, like, wars recently. Yeah, that's true. Because having a war makes you, <laughs> like, really... Looks like everyone's sipping on coconuts and, like, yeah, eating I'm mangoes saying. and... <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you guys do in Mauritius? <laughs> it's a pretty good life. <laughs> sipping guys, on coconuts. Let's let's get to what we're, what we're here, what we're assembled to talk about. <laughs> coconuts as you're wearing your, <laughs> as you're wearing your awesome deadpool shirt yeah <laughs> oh this is i'm so happy with this with this I, so not only i bought this okay so this is this is the scenario right, right break it rash down. guard so what is that me, <laughs> might as well be bro this yeah. is what i'm gonna be wearing when on the first day that i go in for uh for jujitsu jeez um so me and my cousin this was on, on saturday that i bought it yeah. Okay. And uh, we were standing. We were standing there. We're like, we really want t-shirts, but he's sitting right, standing right beside me. Yeah. And I don't know if he's okay with me buying the same stuff that he's buying, yeah. but he noticed the t-shirts first, and then he's like, "That Captain America is really good. Yeah, that Deadpool is also really good." I'm like, "Oh crap! What do I get?" Right. So I'm like, oh, "I don't like Daredevil, and the Spider-Man looks orange more than orange than, yeah. than red." Yeah. Right. Right. And then uh, he's like, "Bro, we we can get the same ones, okay?" <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you got yes, permission? Thank God. But in your head, like. No, we can't. Mother- <laughs> you don't know. Like, I don't want to wear the same shirt as you. I'm going to call you in advance, let you know. So yeah. You, you can wear Captain America. But you know what? Day. If you're going to go cool. with a shirt, I think it's a good one to go with because it's not so like mainstream. Like everybody and their uncle has, you know, yeah. probably a Spider-Man or a Captain America. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. And Under Armour has that line now for like the, the bodybuilders where it's like the Superman and the Batman emblems on See? Under Armour shirt. Mm-hmm. Just like these like huge. Bo- I think I mentioned in one of the earlier mm-hmm. episodes I was on where like they're walking around with these shirts on. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that's right. And you're like, you don't know anything about any no. of the movies or comics. That you're just wearing is like, it's Superman, right. bro. And I lift. I lift. <laughs> That's you're actually being, true. You're being an elitist nerd. No, I, I like guess. that. That's true, know. though. You're like, you don't even know what you're wearing, man. The symbol on your chest means know? nothing. There's, there's a lot of people at the gym who <laughs> love, like, Goku and anime yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they do. You know what? You know? Very, very quick joke. This happened to me with my manager. So uh, my manager was talking to me about, um, he goes, do you do, like, any kind of, like, yoga or any kind of like relaxing meditative type of stuff. I'm mm. like, no, I said like, there's two things I love the most in the world and that's nerd stuff mm. and sports. Mm. And I like to think that I'm more on the sports side in terms of like, you know, I'm, I'm more of like a jock, I'd say. Like I right. love playing sports. Mm. He starts bursting out laughing. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what? And he's like, come on, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's only in your mind. You're not a jock. I'm like, well, I got so crushed. I was like, oh my God. Like I thought I looked like I was a little more of a sports nut than a nerd, but I was like, oh, God. And I just walked away. <laughs> Jeez. No, he man, you sitting... didn't see your Cleveland Indians hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, duh. <laughs> you, you, you're sitting in the back sketching. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. You're, not, you're not watching sports. Okay. You're a nerd. Yeah, I was like so crushed on the inside. I'm like, oh God. I do play basketball. Okay. You know what? Uh, your nerddom is something you can wear on your sleeve a lot easier. At home, you might go and watch your... Yeah, I guess, yeah. So uh-huh. from now on, I'm going to show up to work with like a, a jersey on. Mm-hmm. And right. I take it off and put on my, my, my shirt. Mm-hmm. Be like, take that. <laughs> See? Take that. I do know everybody. Start getting yeah. sleeves with just like random yeah. NFL, NBA. Just just the major... <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> not even the teams, just the actual logos of each of the... Yeah. Have like a comic book about football. Like, now, <laughs> now what? I'm confusing you. There's always carry some kind of like... Piece of equipment. I got a hockey stick with me or something. Yes. It's like, where are you going? I got a hockey after after work. <laughs> Start tempting to make bets with them for no reason. Hey, how much money? How much are you going to put down on the Blue Jays? Who's going to win? Come on now. Like, damn. Oh, Eric, Eric's really into sports and gambling. <laughs> he has a problem. A problem. Oh, That's what I'm saying. All right. So I got to tell you a story <laughs> yeah. of, of how awesome Fan Expo was. Dude, Woo! I'm pumped. I've been wanting to hear about this. Yeah, you should have come. <laughs> Dude, I walked outside. I walked outside and Saw I was like, I'm good. You see, and I'll see you later. Record it for me. So, uh, Thursday. <laughs> I okay. know where this is going. <laughs> Thursday, I left work. Okay. And I'm uh, already excited. This guy's <laughs> cracking up. 
This better be good. Oh, it's good. It's good. This I mean, guy laughed at Thursday. And then uh, from work, I went straight to, uh, I, went, I, I drove straight, straight to Toronto. I believe right? you. Earlier. Well before work was done. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> right? Um, I get there. I park my car. I'm getting excited yeah. because this, t- this day, I don't have a ticket. Yeah. This day, oh. Eric is going to let me it's in. Special ticket. Using yeah. his exhibitor's guest pass. Ooh. Yeah. And so I roll up to, uh, to, to the South Building. Yeah. Uh, I asked the lady over there if I can go in. She said, no, you got to wait over here. No problem. And this is the Metro I, Toronto Convention Center? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. I called Eric up. Eric said, no problem. I'll come upstairs <laughs> right now. I got so, you. So I'm just standing around waiting, looking at all these scrubs that have to like stand <laughs> and whatnot. Eric comes. He, he walks over. I do one of these like, like the in the movies. Up, like, what up, bro? Like in the, yeah. <laughs> like in the, <laughs> like in the movies. And then he comes, and he comes, we, I get stamped on my hand. Nice. They uh, punch the card. Shit. I don't even have to pin it. No. I just hold it. Damn. Right? They don't say, hey, man, you should pin it so that we know. No. No, 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 no. not this gangster. No. This gangster holds it in his hand. <laughs> like, yo, right? flash this, flash this. Anything in their faces. God damn. Right? Oh, man. And then we go down the stairs, two stairs. There's even a DJ. Now yeah. we had a DJ. Yeah, we had a DJ. And we got our own stairs, our own escalators, like no partition. Way. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's this was crazy. two hours before general public can walk in. Yeah, Holy it was pretty cool, man. Shit. Yeah, there's no B.O. Cool. There's no sweating. There's no B.O. <laughs> and trust me, there's, there's, no there's co- gonna be B.O. <laughs> there, there's no cosplay yet. I walk in, right? Yeah. He shows me where he's sitting, right? Yeah. You know how I, those days where I used to carry on my, my backpack with me? Yeah. Because I had to carry my, my camera and stuff like that? Yeah. Gone are those days, my friend. <laughs> oh my hey, Eric, can you put this behind you? Yeah, bro, I got you. Yeah. That's what happened. It was I only gave him, him and a stuff. camera. <laughs> Just me holding the camera. Dang. I took a couple pictures of him. Because, freedom. Uh, yeah. That's freedom. Ultim- Dude, I could put my hands out. Dude, I can were, do a circle you, in you the were, aisles. You were an eagle. Yes. You were f- in f- like you were an eagle full flight. So free. So free. Anyway. Oh, so I, I, I took I, I took a fair bit of money out. Wow. And put it in my wallet. Okay. Okay. Um, because you know it's and easier then I to did pay some for cash. cocaine. I just followed the train, man. <laughs> this is where the night was going. I could tell. He, he met up with Stan Lee and boom. Yep. Um, That's not a mustache. It's a powder cocaine mustache. <laughs> Every year that I've gone, I, I love buying prints, right? Mm. Uh, art prints. That's my jam. I love doing that. I spend most of my time in that in the artist alley, right? Okay. And uh, but it's jam packed. On nice. a Saturday, especially when normally when I go in yeah, on a Saturday, yeah. it's jam packed. Yeah. So it's really tough. You got to hold like whatever art you picked up. You got to hold it like yeah. in a way so no one like bends the corners. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. even then, a couple of my pieces got got bent in previous years. What kind of person does that? Anyway, <laughs> this time there's no one there. Everyone's still setting up. Yeah. Right. So uh, I'm like Eric. I'm good. All right. Excellent. I got to start wa- start walking. Yeah. So I go all the way to the end of Artist Alley. Uh-huh. I start walking up and down the alley <laughs> oh, <yeah>. really <laughs> slowly. And yeah. what's awesome is that now everyone first of all all the exhibitors are fresh this is mm-hmm. the first day they're not tired they're not yeah. overwhelmed um they're just setting up so they're really good moods right and w- so then you get to s- you get to walk you take your time you can flip through their their artwork yep. you can ask them the story behind the picture okay. like what were you thinking when you were doing that and they love talking about it because yep. we're all nerds yeah. right and so i it was so amazing to like actually have extended long conversations with people yeah. so a couple of my highlights um, uh, was uh, a go right to the big one. Um, chasing artwork. Yeah, Justin, Justin Curry. Justin Curry. What's his style? He's uh, uh, you can explain that better than I can. Yeah, he uh, he's definitely an inspiration for me now, uh, recently. But I call him a he's a fractal silhouettist, if that makes sense. Oh, I know exactly. Yeah. what you don't mean. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what happens is he is, a local uh, dude first off, or is this yeah. like a famous famous dude? No, Canadian, Canadian boy, and he's just been right. growing each year. I think yeah. Sayed. Uh, that's sorry, yes, yes, sorry, no, no. I think Yassine, I don't know if you ever explained this Sayed, but he uh he's probably Yassine's favorite artist. Yeah. Besides myself, just kidding. Mm-hmm. But uh, so what happens is uh what he does beautifully is he'll he'll take an image and he just basically blows it up mm-hmm. from a sketch and then he puts it back together in pieces. Mm-hmm. And it's a thing of beauty. Like, it's gorgeous. Like, we'll show you after. Yeah, we'll show you. Um, yeah. But it is gorgeous. Like, uh-huh. he he's the man. But yeah, I'll just continue. So, um, it, it, Justin's got one of those end caps. So, at the end of the aisle, the, the end cap is the, the, the aisle. It's like the, 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 the part that's facing outwards oh, at the end of an aisle. Those are coveted, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy's a baller, oh, right? Yeah. Um, he's got three people to help him. Oh, yeah. And him, him, uh, he himself is there. And I saw what I was looking for almost immediately. Uh-huh. He has canvas he has canvas prints Whoa. so um as you know we just finished doing a little bit of uh rework. i looked around frantically <laughs> where is it like this is exactly the thing yasin would just be like yeah i'll take two 
<laughs> but they're eight hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, first of all, you're very close on that price point. No way. Um, oh my and, god. And, and second of all, yes, I am in. Con- I'm going to be contacting him for that because so I had a, I was able to have a conversation with him and told him what I wanted to do and w- what was the purpose for it. And he said, no problem. Choose the artwork that you want. Let me know, and uh, he'll have his place in Quebec printed out, yeah. and he'll ship it to me. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Really nice guy. Yeah. Really? Super nice. Yeah. Really cool guy. Um, and really talented too. I mean, like, uh, so if you go there and you buy his, uh, his artwork booklet, yeah. um, he, he will draw something for you real quick. Mm-hmm. And the no thing way. is, is that the way how he draws it, yeah. he doesn't draw, it's, it's like that other guy you were showing me. Yeah. He doesn't have like sort of like guidelines first and then kind of like builds on top of it. Right. He just starts on left corner and just keep going. Oh man. Yeah. He's like yeah. the robot and I robot. <laughs> <laughs> like draws that bridge. is like, mm. <laughs> So I, I'm um, on this guy's site right now, and I do want to. I just want to plug this guy because yeah, the work is amazing. Yeah. And I see what you're saying, like fractal silhouette. So yeah, he's yeah, it's nasty. Chasing artwork at deviantart.com, and yeah. dude, definitely worth the visit. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Though. yeah. So um, after chatting with him, and I think one of those girls are his girlfriend. I think so. Uh, girlfriends as well, dude. Like everyone is pretty. Yeah. Like just on his <laughs> roster, like the, the the other dude that was helping him out. I'm like, wow, this is just like this is a dream right here, wow. right? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, is that he's so nice. Yeah. He's so nice. There was other people who had VIP tickets. So while I was talking to him, yeah. these, these, uh, this group of girls came mm-hmm. and they gave him cookies. <laughs> they had like, it was a bag of cookies with a ribbon and his name on it. And they said, wow. that, we met you last year and you were so nice. So we want to do something nice for you. So we, we, we made cookies. Did he eat the cookies? That's a question. I don't know. Probably. He, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. They don't, they didn't look like suspect people. Mm, but that, those are the ones you gotta look out for, right? They didn't the look like ones. witches. Uh, the quiet ones you gotta. I'd be curious I what the... you could mix into a cookie batch. That's I'd, all. I'd do the fake one and be like, oh, let me take a bite right now. And it's like, <laughs> you just, uh, pretend to put it through the side of your face. Like, oh, that was, was great. It's like on the floor. I would have been like, hey, why don't you eat one first? And deadpan, just stare at them. <laughs> and if they seem to hesitate, then I throw it as far away as possible yeah. and run the other way. Uh, um, yeah, so after that, I yeah. met uh, another guy named Nas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Did he not know that that name is? Taken? He told me to get myself a gun. <laughs> uh-huh. He said, "All you need is one shot." Yeah. Uh, he gave you a little bit of ether to calm down. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, well, well done. That was that was, <laughs> that was good, guys. A, can we, can we um, end it now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so throw the mics down. down to, psh, That's done. it. Uh, he he was he had a Stranger Things art, uh, art, artwork piece. Actually, oh, I saw that. really really surprising how uh, Stranger Things has like penetrated. Yeah. The, this 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 this. Uh, like I get it would be a nerdy kind of thing, right. but like a lot of artists had like Stranger yeah. Thing pieces. Yeah, I saw I a lot of Mega Waffle boxes everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. really? It was really nice. Yeah. It was really cool because like, I don't know, it's just nice to see like something that you loved so much and now people yeah. like doing art yeah. for it. And you know what's funny too, the video might be interjecting two yeah. uh, two seconds. So I still haven't seen the show. Don't throw anything yet. Yeah. But I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna get to it. But what's funny is, so I didn't know this character Eleven mm. has seven. a. Uh, is, is that right? Did I get is that it right? a seven? Eleven. 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 It is eleven. Is eleven. Yeah. yeah, not seven. Eleven. Seven. <laughs> seven of nine is yeah. what I got confused with. For so no she's reason. got. Apparently, she has a nosebleed. Yes. When uh, she does things. Yeah. When she uses. Her so what happens is, I'm seeing these people walking nosebleeds. I'm like, oh god, who's gonna tell them? <laughs> right. So I'm freaking out, and then my friend Jackie, who's splitting the table with me again this year, she's like, oh no no, that's a character, and I looked it up. I'm like. Oh crap! Okay, here I was thinking everyone had really bad allergies or something's happening because their outfit is not crazy. Yeah, like right. it's a normal outfit. And yeah. then I saw one little girl holding a box of Egos. I'm like, she really loves Egos. And then I see a nosebleed. I'm like, good God, the girl is bleeding from her nose. And then I look it up. I'm like, it's all making sense. And I start seeing yeah. multiple people, and I'm going, okay, either some strange thing is happening, like this new fad. Everybody's yeah. eating these cookies. Yeah, these Egos or something, getting nosebleeds, or it's a character. But yeah, yeah. at first, sorry, but go on. But yeah, I was like, what the Please heck? Please watch that show. I will. Yeah, I heard it's cool. banana, so I'll hop on it. We need to talk about that, specifically because it's very much 80s. Oh, I heard it's like 80s yeah. nostalgic. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Awesome. yeah, it's It's going to bring a tear to your to your ears. I was going to say ears. Tear to your face. I don't know, man. Your eyes? That sounds... Yes, what hole? You're right. leaking. Eyes. You're your, leaking. Nose will, your nose will start bleeding. <laughs> Yeah. It, Can you imagine? It, it'll, it'll bring a blood drop to your little, nose. Little snot bubbles. <laughs> um, who else? Uh, Don McTeague. McTeague. These are great names, by the way. Don oh, McTeague. yeah. Is right. he a pirate? Also, no, no, it's a, it's a lady. Yeah. Have you, oh, do you shit. see Don? No. No, you haven't? No. She looks like an artist. Is awesome. Oh, yeah. She, like, dresses the part. <laughs> and, and is very, like, consistent. Like, last year I saw her, too. She's, like, the most, like, interesting, striking person there. 
It's really interesting. The type of person that if she was an artist, you'd be like, that woman is crazy. But to see an artist, <laughs> she's an artist. Yeah. She looks like an artist. That, that's fair enough. Um, and then there was another Canadian artist. I forgot who, but uh, I bought a um, X23, Experiment mm-hmm. 23 artwork off of him. And I thought it was really cool just because like the X20, X23 was wearing like a Canada Goose jacket. Uh, oh right? okay and she's okay. running with that's a wolf cool. pack oh I, that's what you showed me right yeah. that was a yeah that yeah. was a dope picture i saw that one that's that's those are those three big ones like the nas Highlights. guy with the with, with stranger things um chasing artwork and definitely that other guy i really need to get his name yeah um it's, it's dope man i spent a f- a fair bit <laughs> oh like, it was funny i was i was laughing when he told me the price at the end of the day uh, 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 upwards of 500 yeah but all right oh, yeah. totally worth it Good. Because I was getting so much happiness out of, yeah. out of the, 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 yeah. the whole and thing. It, it means so much more to you because of the interaction you get to have. Exactly. And you understand what the the art actually meant to the person. Because mm-hmm. now you have like an extended relationship instead yeah. of just being like, yeah, yeah this is cool. Yeah. This will look good. And uh, exactly that. You get to, you get to have a conversation. Not only that, we're making some connections, man. We might have one of these artists on the, on the podcast as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Hundo P. Yeah. And well, yeah. what's cool too is, um, and I, I give full props to Yasin for this, is that I love his appreciation for art. Even when I show him my stuff, mm-hmm. he breaks it down to the to the to the bare bones, and he builds up his love for the piece piece by piece, well, which is great. Because like you do get a lot of those people during the week, and I I love doing fan expo, but you'll get those odd people who are like, "Is that a Batman? Yeah, I'll is that a it. Batman? <laughs> you no, know, you know what I mean. Though? Like the people just go like, "Oh, it's a Batman. I'll take it." Right. As opposed to the person who stops and goes, "Oh my God, this why is a is Batman. But yeah. why does it look like this? Yeah. Why is it like?" And when those when those people come to my table, yeah, I feel that much more connected to them and I feel better right. about selling them something because mm-hmm. I know it's going to go up somewhere right. yeah. as opposed to like oh here's another Batman piece I got and then it goes in a book somewhere and just dies well, right? two things number one it's because those people appreciate the art and they want to like understand how you appreciate it as yeah. well secondly Yasin has an eye for uh, detail <laughs> details yeah. he's editing photos all the time True. and you know that's True. You're an artist when you're doing that. To yeah. find the beauty in some shitty lady's <laughs> mole face. Sorry, I'm not kidding. I'm sure everybody's a that beautiful very snowflake. Extreme, very no, good. no. But like, I've seen him <laughs> tediously sit down and edit yeah, like yeah. one picture. I'm like, this person is not gonna look good no matter what you do here. <laughs> but it's like the Should mother. Should go black and white. Should I go silhouette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna just have to focus on the lamp behind her. I don't oh need no. A... <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's true, yeah. and and I think that's that's what was so addictive yeah. over mm-hmm. there was that I would. It's like you know when when you can go an entire year, yeah, and l- while listening to music, and maybe only like four or five songs really hit you, where you kind of like you know the hairs rise up, right, and, yeah. and you feel you feel that dopamine dump, and you're like, Those, this is it. The yeah. songs right? like till I collapse by Eminem, kind of yeah, exactly. Right. You know, whatever it has like that, that people overuse this word, but like visceral feeling, yeah. like mm-hmm. you know. And so uh, what was awesome is that, well, at Fan Expo, when you're looking at work, right, there's some stuff that does nothing for you. The yeah. pulse mm-hmm. stays completely flat. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden you get that spike when you see the thing. And then you kind of like know and then you kind of dive into it. Then yeah. you ask the person about it and stuff like that. I think that's, that was the addictive part of it because yeah. it, was, it, was, it was like a reward circuit that kept getting rewarded nice. as i move from one booth to another yeah that's and awesome. I, I love it yeah. Oh, yeah can't wait to do a little bit of show and tell after no i'm, I'm glad oh, yeah. man yeah. let see the thing is if you're gonna give somebody a like a, a backstage access uh like you were able to do for yasin yeah it's good to know that it's like for a guy like yasin <laughs> where he's just like this is this is the best day ever it's christmas it's christmas yeah, that's what exactly. it was right? we get our own stairs <laughs> and a tj oh no, it yeah, was great. So it was, thanks, thanks for hooking that up, man. No I really problem, appreciate man. It. Yeah, you know what's funny too is uh, the so the artist to the right of me, David Tuff, awesome guy. Like we're now we're now buddies. Um, mm-hmm. he's out in Edmonton. What's pretty cool was he, uh, nicest guy in the world too, because you did so many cool things for me. Mm-hmm. Like instead of having to rent an extra chair for any guests I had, mm-hmm. he just gave me his chair, his extra chair. Mm-hmm. He's like, you don't have to pay me back for anything, dude. Uh, we swap prints with each other. Mm-hmm. We're always good neighbors. You need anything to drink? You need any food? Mm-hmm. What was cool was uh. He asked me, he goes, your buddy's not going to come back to the table and just sit down for a bit. I said, no, dude, you understand. Yassine's been waiting a year for this. I was like, the man will not stop. He will be walking this entire building to the bitter end. Yep. And he's going to check out every single table. Yeah. And he goes, really? I said, yeah, if anyone deserves one of these passes, it's him. Because he's going to use it more than what it's worth, which it's is true. pretty awesome, right? Because um, he was shocked. He's like, he didn't come back. He only came back to kind of check on us. Yeah, that's all I did. And to take a breather. But the man was gone the whole time. Like, yeah. 
I let him do his thing. Like it was funny because I even text him like, "Are hey, you man, living you, the life? Are, are you living the life?" And dude came, comes back like an hour later. I just saw your text. I'm so sorry. He's like, "No, I'm good. I'm good. He's like holding a <laughs> stack <laughs> like this, like literally just holding a full stack. Uh, it was getting to a point where I was getting to an like to another booth, and they would see the thing. Oh and yeah. When I had to pay, I had to like put it all down. I'm like, can I can I just put it all on top? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just oh, like lay God. it all. <laughs> all Don't out. take any of it. <laughs> it was, That's it was awesome. Pretty awesome. It was, was something. That? Sorry, go ahead. No, I got more questions. No, 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 ask questions. <laughs> He's Listen, curious. I, yeah. I've only been to like one other thing like this. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and for me, like, how was like how was the vibe from the people who came in for the most part? Like, were these people like super excited to be there? Were they like, you know, I I, I went to the one in California. It was better. Like, were people <laughs> dressed up proper? Or what was it like? Yeah, I thought it was yeah. just the same level of of excitement as it was as always. Yeah. yeah. Same same level of awesome. Same level of yeah. people engaged. It's. <clears throat> It's it, it's great. There was lots of solid cosplayers. There was very um, good celebrities this year. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, yeah, well, you had uh, the, Stan Lee was there. Stan Lee's Stan last Lee. Canadian appearance. You had uh, why? Because he's so old. Yeah. Yeah, dude was dude was ninety four, and I was just hearing that he's ninety four. Yeah, and Dang. and yeah, and there was a lot of stories of people like when they'd come to my table, I'd ask because I'd see them with them holding the picture of the autograph. Yeah, and they just mentioned. Um, you could see, like, as time was going yeah. on, and like a lot of autographs, he was starting to get worn down. They're actually forcing him to take breaks. Yeah, the man's very dedicated. The whole time he's like, "No, I gotta finish, gotta finish." Like, no, no, stand, take like a half an hour break, then come back to the table. So kudos to the man for doing the whole weekend. Yeah, uh, we sure. had Mark Hamill, so Luke Skywalker, aka uh, the Joker, Joker from the '92 that's what series. I'm saying. You had Kevin Conroy, the Batman from yeah. every yep. single animated thing Dude. ever put out there, Batman. Um, you had John Cusack, Joan Cusack. What are the Cusacks doing there? Um. I'm not too sure because they're in the North Building. They put all the celebrities in the North Building now. No, what's what's is but, uh, John Cusack? No, have I think a it was just like I think it was just like I'm John Cusack, and here's Joan Cusack, my <laughs> sister. And she, she's pretty cool too. Like she has a fan, uh, fan following too. Um, beyond that, I mean, Christopher Lloyd. You had Doc Brown mm. from Back to the Future. Oh yeah, I love that man. Um, and there's a bunch of others. I know like a few people had to cancel last second, a few mm-hmm. celebrities, but oh, for the most part, a lot of Firefly people were there. Firefly, Joe straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Wash was there. Yep. Oh, I love that guy, yeah. man. Yeah. That guy's so talented. It's only going to get better because I remember last year, you know, Jason Momoa, Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. It was Jason it was Momoa. Cool. It was Mike cool. friggin Tyson. Norman Reedus was there as well. I almost forgot that one. Yeah. Uh, Norman Reedus. Yeah. No, it was, it was a great show. And like, just to add on to what you're asking, um, it got so big this year that all of us artists were talking about how the Friday mm-hmm. felt like the Saturday last year. Oh, man. So that's how much busier it's gotten. Mm. Peaking, um, peaking that much earlier. Yep. They also doubled Artist Alley. So that's a good Ooh. thing for your scene. <laughs> they doubled the, the length of it because they realized it deserves more respect than it was getting because mm-hmm. uh, most people were actually coming just for the artists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other thing was we actually had fans buying work for me. And when I was asking them how their weekend was going, they were talking about celebrating their honeymoons. This was their honeymoon. Mm-hmm. They were going to the fan expo, VIP passes for their honeymoon. Yeah. They were taking pictures of all the celebrities and, wow. and and creating these memories. And I was like, whoa, it's gone. And they don't like you'd probably like have a preconceived notion of what these people look like. And right. like, hey, they were like super nerds and like their their costumes. Uh, no, these are just like there was so many different walks of life. Like yeah. we've mentioned this before. Yeah. It was just a community <clears throat> of people right. in there. That's and awesome, yeah, man. they were loving it, man. It was yeah. great. You know, you can't afford <clears throat> to fly. Hello, baby. I love you. I got We're you. going to the expo. <laughs> We're seeing Stanley. Well, it depends on where they're coming from, too. That's yeah. true. They could, yeah. you know, from Canada's wide. Oh, yeah. yeah man. Canada's wide. It's yeah. like the same amount of time it takes for you to go to, U- to, to like, UK, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to, like, Van, Van City. I There's a lot my... of people from Boston as well, oh, yeah? which is pretty cool. Like, a lot of people from the Northeast coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it was great, too. And I purposely tried to talk to them about where they parked because I always wanted to hear what? them say, there's a reason behind it so <laughs> one of my favorite terms that boston people say is cap hack uh-huh uh, so i was like oh where, where'd you guys uh you guys drove here like oh yeah we just left our car on the cap hack and i'm like ah, awesome <laughs> just, just honey dicking them for them to say oh yeah just gotta yeah, say just, something cool they're like oh we parked over there but where well there's a you know a lot uh, but what kind of lot like, how would you say it if you were to say it, it was <laughs> cap hack. no it was yeah. awesome yeah it was, it was great it was, it was a great time good man sure, man I've I've never regretted it. I I honestly yeah. feel like it's it's a place where there's the least amount of judgment. Every, oh yeah, everyone, there has to be. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because um, everybody's so stupid looking. <laughs> but everyone Sorry. everyone uh, everyone gets to do whatever they want. Yeah, they, they don't they don't feel pressured or weird, and yeah. you know everyone knows that everyone's there because they like something it's, that I like. I was I was outside, but like just checking it out super friendly yeah everybody was everybody was a fan of everybody they're like yeah. oh let me take a picture with you yeah, and just like yeah. running around yeah. like really you can cool. tell that infectious just happiness yeah 
And I was like, oh, this is adorable. What other thing has this kind of following? And you know, there um, was there was one girl, you know you're comfortable, and there's one girl dresses Mystique. Mm-hmm. But she legit did the Mystique the thing. So it was like, she was naked with like the pasties on and then the body paint. And she was just walking through like she was owning the place. Uh-huh, right. And didn't even like second guess anything or didn't bother about who was looking at her. And I was like, good for her. I mean, Eric's, Eric's what girlfriend's if... head popped up. Like, what are you looking at her? <laughs> No, she don't look at her. She literally walked walked down the aisle. <laughs> the naked like, woman. Whatever. Have like, some shame. Yeah, it was people just just do it up. There's one guy dresses. I thought it was pretty cool. It was like a Pikachu transformer. What? Whoa. Yeah, I don't know if you had saw him, no, but like, I didn't see this. It was like I have never seen such an intricate costume in my life. Like, Jeez. dude, probably dropped savings on that mm-hmm. thing. It was insane, and I was like, I was pretty blown away. I was mm-hmm. like, that was that was like it's Pikachu not cardboard transform. either. This is like we're talking like legit like hunks of metal in this guy's mm-hmm. costume. Pretty impressive. Covered with fur. I want to know how, how well, no, so, this guy so, went. Yeah, so what happened was it was so imagine Bumblebee from Transformers. Yeah. And then he just added like the Pikachu details. So he had like the ears. Oh, uh, okay. he added cool. the eyes. Yeah. He had like the the Thunderbolts. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then uh he had like this cool jet pack thing on. Yeah. That had like a ring around it and then it had like thunder coming Shit. in on it. It was pretty nice. It was a pretty cool costume. Like if that you pretty cool. I'm sure if you like look up hashtag fan expo twenty sixteen. Right, right, right. There's got to be tons of pictures of this guy in his costume. Uh-huh. That's pretty Insane. sweet. Yeah. yeah. It's cool that cosplayers just get dressed and then they yeah. just walk around and people take pictures of They're them. They're waiting for an excuse, that's, dude. That's all they do. I went to the gay pride parade. It's right by my house. Yeah. And I was I just, like, I wasn't going to stick around and like for the banana hammocks to come out, but I want to, I always want to <laughs> see what's happening. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to come down to banana yeah, yeah. hammocks at some point. Yeah. But there were cosplayers there and like it was hot and they were like in full gear i'm like you got to just anything any excuse oh, yeah. is a fire drill it's just like get on get your tail on get your t- so, so i did something else of note yeah, yeah. you did <clears throat> at least it was note for me um you did a pick at you what'd you do uh i met an actual like legit like career cosplayer Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. She had a booth up in the uh, was it the North Building. Wow. So, so basically, what happened was, um, uh, I'm very selective when I take pictures at uh, at at uh, at Fan Expo. I'm not there prim- primarily to take pictures, mm-hmm. but if I find something that's cool and the opportunities there, I'll take the picture. And there was someone dressed as Rock Bell from uh, you guys won't know Full Metal Alchemist. Right. Okay, I yeah. know that now. <laughs> right, right. So, um, and I wanted to catch up with, catch up to her, mm-hmm. but I was holding. All your... said amount of prints <laughs> yeah and i'm thinking to myself like how much do i want this picture because right. if i run this, this is all gonna fall out mm-hmm. anyway uh i dropped all my stuff in the car i went back upstairs and then i walked past the booth and i like i, I, I saw her, and there was no one there there was no one in line mm-hmm. i'm like i think i'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna go meet this person yeah right so uh this is stigma i guess <laughs> chris <laughs> knows well um like you know it's only like thirsty dudes that go up and meet with uh, with with cosplay models. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but at that point in time, I was like, you know what? I just wanna, I just wanna have a conversation. I wanna know what this yeah. person, what an interaction with this person is gonna be like. Right. <laughs> that sounds so funny. But keep going. And so, and so, I just walked up and I said, "Hey, how you doing? Whatnot? Super nice. Yeah. I don't expect anything else. Obviously, she's selling prints of herself." Like in various costumes, <laughs> in various costumes and stuff gotta like that. make money. Yeah, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be a prick about it. But uh yeah, she seemed pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. Her name was Joni Broaz? Mm. Something along those lines. Broaz. Joni. <laughs> I'll Google it later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was an interesting uh That's thing. really cool. I yeah. I would have a lot of questions. Yeah. So I you know, just told her she should see the aquarium. Because <laughs> start, start that, that's what you got? that that big thing is known as a CN Tower. You should check, that, check that out. Yeah. You should yeah. check out everything yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those things are walking distance. That's yeah, good. I'm, I'm glad cool, you guys had a yeah. good time, man. I've, yeah, I think I'm great. convinced to uh, check out one of these things. Yeah, like, you oh, should. Man. There's something for everyone. And what's cool is that, like, yeah, you'll you'll meet these interesting people, and you just like go up to them and just ask them a question, and mm-hmm. just at least a great conversations. Mm-hmm. Like, you'll see someone in a costume and be like, dude. That's pretty impressive. Where'd you get that done? And the passion just bleeds out, which yeah. is pretty sweet. My, my, sorry, go ahead. You first. Well, it's, it's connected to your thing yeah. is that I, I do love like everything that's related to it to a certain extent. Like I love comic books. I love graphic novels. The movies, like, yeah. I went home at lunchtime today and I was I watched Silver Surfer from 1998. Oh, dude, that cartoon? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Got to like episode six in two days. Uh, but like I've never been huge on the culture itself of like 
going to one of these things and even if it's not dressing up i was just like i i never fully understood the appeal but every single person i talked to that's ever been to one of these speaks so highly of it we got to convince you to go man my my favorite did i think this podcast is doing it my favorite story is uh i'm just i'm about to laugh dude but my favorite story for cosplay was i I was outside in the hallway and then uh behind me all here is just taking a break, you know, yeah. because sitting at the booth, I was there for the four full days and I was there before and after hours. So I was there just like nonstop. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you get times where like you got to you got to walk around. You got to take a lap. So I was in the hallway just like eating some pizza. And then uh, I hear behind me here. Ah, oh. I'm like, what is that? And I turn around two grown ass men. One dressed as Kylo Ren, the other is uh. Obi-Wan Kenobi, and they got, you know, the, like, Toys R Us lightsabers, yeah. and a bunch of people filming them, and they're recreating oh a fight God. scene, and as the plastic hits, you hear the, <laughs> That's so and what funny. was great was, I immediately burst into tears, mm-hmm. I wasn't, like, so much making fun of them, because, like, yeah. I love your passion, mm-hmm. but what I was laughing at was they kept messing up, <laughs> so cool. they're trying to get this, this choreography down <laughs> on the, on, like, on the nose, but what happens, one person would always mess up. So, like, you hear the... And one guy would slip and hit the other guy in the chest. And he's like, oh, God, dude, why? He's like, okay, start no, again. we have to do it again. Yeah, and there's like, a, oh, you hit my hand. Sorry. Then you broke my lightsaber. And then one loses the light. And then he has to, like, fix the batteries and oh, get it going man. again. So much and, commitment to it. Yeah. You're and grown it, ass men, I'm assuming. It. Oh, yeah. And it lasted, <laughs> oh, for yeah. Good, <laughs> it lasted for a good, like, five minutes. And I was in tears the whole time. And That's I was like, awesome. I want to record this, but I know it would probably be really bad to do that. But I was just like, I was laughing. Like, I was like, you know what? Kudos on the dedication. But that was that my favorite awesome. story. Because mm-hmm. you hear the sound. You know when you hear a sound, you're like, I wonder what that is. Yeah. yeah. And in your head, you're trying to envision what it is before you turn around. Right. Like, okay, let's see how close I was. Yeah. Was not close at all. <laughs> this is what's in the realm of oh, possibility, yeah. what just, it could be. If you and get it's it, this. Yeah. For you guys and also people listening to this, like, find two plastic objects and just tap them. And that's what it was. It was so funny. You just hear, oh. And it's like, oh, nice. Okay, something good's happening. And the best part too was there's like a custodian lady walking by and she just had a big smirk on her face as she looked over and she just turned around going, Psh, just kept walking. Mm-hmm. Like she's used to this, right? The, so the, the janitors at a Metro convention center yeah. Oh, yeah. must have witnessed a fair bit of oh, weirdness oh, over the years that they've been there. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not only us, yeah. right? It's got to be furries, uh, yeah. just like Freemasons. Oh, yeah. They must know they're like the devil worshippers. Oh, yeah. Like this devil they, worshippers. They've seen all types. There's there's people who treat it very seriously. And once again, not passing judgment, just literally just pointing something out. There is there is people who are so in character that you would talk to them and they talk to you as a character and you get a little frightened. You're like, oh, oh. Like one guy, I don't know what it was, what what show it was from, but he was hunched over the whole time. Really tall dude, lanky, but hunched mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. And he was making this sound like eh, 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 as he was walking. And I was like, hey, hey man, he's like, Err. and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stop, wow. just let you go on your business. But it was, a, but apparently, I was told by people around me that that was a character. Yeah. Okay. And people were like, dude, awesome job. Like, and he was like acting all weird and like he was like shadowing people. Uh huh. Because apparently, the character is known for like being like this weird thing always behind you. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, weird. I was like, that's just a little bit of dedication. Like, and he was holding like the stuff he was buying, like his hoodies and his, <laughs> and his books, and he's holding them close to his chest, but he's still in character. And Imagine I was like, if like Gollum was like, oh, yeah, my precious, yeah. and like just has his art with him. Yeah, like, I was, Damn, like, that I was Gollum. like, this guy is dedicated, but yeah, it's 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 a spectacle for sure. And I'm sure the custodians have seen like, Jeez, oh, dude, they've, they've, what, what are you guys doing in this corner? <laughs> After they they seen the furries, they're probably yeah. like okay with everything. That that place is huge. Yeah, Metro North and is. South, like and yeah. the stuff, the parts that you 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 see, yeah. yeah. There's still so much more. The oh, rooms yeah. is it goes down like three four floors. It is. Uh, yeah. I remember we went to see Nathan Fillion last year yep. and the year before. Oh man, uh, that that was really cool too. That's who so I'd love dope. to see is Nathan Fillion. Yeah. He's he's really funny. It's gone so yeah. big now too. Yeah. They even have like speed dating on site. Yeah, that's so, true. They have nerd yep. speed dating. They have well, nerd speed dating. Yeah, and and. and if anybody needs it yeah well what's pretty cool is like they've done it where i think it's also by by like whatever you're a fan of if that makes sense so like you'll have like a marvel speed dating Uh star wars speed dating i think that's pretty neat i was like it's gotten so big now it's just it's just ever growing like and you mentioned the north building Mm -hmm. earlier when i went as a fan in like 08 it only was a south building Mm -hmm. and then it grew to like oh we now need the north building Mm -hmm. oh we now need to double this space and it's just ever that's expanding right yeah toronto's uh one of those places